I don't think he. Bobby did. Smarter put a freestyle out. How you felt about that? You ain't even there. You ain't even give a fuck, huh? Bro, I ain't gonna lie. That nigga bro. was on stage fighting niggas. Was that? Was that? Was I that? I seen that. Huh? Was that Bobby Smurda who was doing that dancing? Bro, on the I ground? swear to God, that is not Bobby Smurda. That is I didn't not see him. What dance. I don't even understand why niggas were playing was Bobby, Bobby face like that. What no, dance? that was not Bobby. Oh, I didn't even see it. It was some shit. He was basically winding and grinding and twerking and splitting no. on the fucking stage. You know, you know but that, that was not Bobby. You know that Smurda. meme video would do be like, say it ain't so. Say it like if that's what I ain't was no thinking. Way, like, ain't no way, bro. Ain't no fucking way, bro. It was way, a little skinny, way, little black thinking, ass like. nigga, but that was not my nigga Bobby. Don't play his. I mean, I ain't a Bobby, man. I'm not really. I'm not really. I wasn't really the biggest Bobby fan when he was out. I respected his movement, but now to me, it's like I, I'd rather just look at him as the for me. I guess like the people people will say an icon or Have you yeah, ever heard Bobby a, bitch? a socialite. Like I'm not. I'm good on but any see, kind of music. The I'm thing good about on the, all music. Well, Bobby Bobby's persona. Is why he's a he's a staple in the culture just because he did what he said he was he would do. Yeah, he still ten and toes. He stood ten toes. That shit does not happen. Like I'm even you don't have to be famous. That shit you got niggas who know each other their whole fucking life who wouldn't have did what that nigga did. Cause For you sure. know what it's called? Sorry, nigga, I'm trying to come home. Trying to come home. Snitch. <laughs> Snitch. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, nigga. nigga. I'm, trying. Nah, I'm trying to come home. I know home. from personal That's experience funny. that. If you don't snitch or you don't do no telling and you stay down on your bed and your time and you just run that shit to the ground and walk it down without flaking in any type of way, you gonna get a lot of respect. I right. definitely, I've definitely been snitched on and then been in trouble with the law because somebody snitched on me. Like that's oh, wow. I, yeah, yeah. yeah, I've been in that situation before. Well, fuck them people. What I did do is I took my fucking charge and the day I got out on bond. I was out this bitch doing a paperwork party. You know what I'm saying? You want to see? Come look at this shit. And I made sure my little brother kept his shit together, too. Because I brought his paperwork, too. We don't do that snitching that shit. Because, I mean, I'm going to do that time. Yeah. I'm going to cry. But I'm going to do that fucking yeah. time. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And, and I'm right. But I'm by myself. I'm going to yeah. do that shit in the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah. And know people offered me all type of shit. I've been offered shit before I even caught that charge. Bro, I ain't going to lie to you. I say this all the time, bro. Like, when I was writing you, bro, those letters were, like, super proper. Your terminology was extra proper. I was reading, and he was like, "You, you, were, <laughs> it's, like you it's like you were really explaining to me what was, go, what was going on." Because I was like, in a different was like, atmosphere, bro. I, was I in could the tell. Of I could tell. Fucking bum, fuck Egypt. I could tell. As a nigga who could barely walk, going to prison. You know what I'm saying? Not jail. Yeah. I went to the state penitentiary, nigga. Like, what the fuck? Like, I was really in the hole for like almost three months, nigga. That shit do... I couldn't imagine being in the hole mm -hmm. for a fucking year. Yeah, you said you were going crazy. Bro, that shit drive you fucking crazy, bro. Like, that shit got so bad, bro. I was on the phone with my baby mama one day, and like she, she was just like, I can hear it. I can just hear it in your voice. Mm -hmm. You are miserable. <laughs> like, motherfucker, I come out once a day yeah. for 30 minutes. Hurt. 24 hours a day, I come out for 30 minutes for no fucking reason. Like, I... Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, God damn, bro. Like, I got a shower in there. Mm -hmm. I got to eat in there. You don't get no books other than Bibles and spiritual books. Yeah. You don't get no other books, bro. Shit <laughs> nigga, crazy. read the hell out of the Bible. Like, niggas were literally playing chess on paper through the fucking doors. Yeah. That's when I learned how to play chess. You know what I'm saying? I learned how to play chess on a piece of paper, not on a chessboard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's just fucking, man, like... It's just fucking crazy. Yeah. I can see why niggas will snitch, but I'm not one of those niggas. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I just can't do it. Like I can't. Yeah, I couldn't. Bro. I, I, I couldn't let nobody run me out of here. And that right For there sure. will get you ran the fuck up out of here. It will. But not in Richmond. There's a lot of niggas out here that's snitching. That's still Instagram famous. I see them all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I see them all the time. Niggas well, we, be snitching. Well, we not go. We ain't going to do this. Is home. This is personal. Niggas, yeah. do niggas do be ratting in Richmond, and they do. And niggas be getting niggas locked up for years, and niggas still be in love with them niggas. If you're gonna involve yourself in that type of stuff, then just hold it down, whatever you're doing. Some niggas ain't got that in them. Some I don't involve in myself them. in that type of activity because I'm gonna tell. Yeah, you're a civilian. Like, yeah. I feel like anybody that, that get up and go to work and work a job, pay your taxes, you're not doing out here doing nothing illegal, none of that shit. Honestly, we're good. God forbid, I wouldn't really go to no go to jail for street crimes. I'll probably get more caught up in like blue collar crimes.
Yeah. Scamming is yeah. yeah. they, they be stitching in that shit too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I take is let Emily in the no, count and they get caught. I, I Everybody I going down. I don't scam down. though because of my job. Yeah. Like Whoop my job Street. saved me a lot from things that probably could have went left for me. Yeah. Imagine you got a PPP. Imagine you would have been hit. I know some you people. Been I know first one down. A few people didn't got a PPP. Oh, they would have made an example out of me. Yeah. Them people ain't work for the IRS. I know a few people that got a PPP. Work for the government and steal money from the government. That's right. Uh, it's your one way ticket to Man, I got a homeboy that snitched years. on a nigga. I got a homeboy that snitched on a nigga, but he's a civilian. He got robbed by the nigga. He wasn't buying no drugs, nothing. The dude, we was in, I think I was 19, he was 18. We was chilling. My other homeboys decided that they wanted to rob him. I had nothing to do with that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They beat him up, beat the shit out of him, took his shit. He called the police. He gave them niggas every last fucking name that who hit him and where they can find them. Yeah. And them niggas got locked up for fucking for robbery. Damn. You know what I'm saying? And he walked around this motherfucker with his head up high <laughs> because he is a civilian. <laughs> I yeah, I did. He is a fucking civilian. That nigga yeah. works a job. Like, he worked at fucking Gold's Gym, bro. And back then, fucking, <laughs> you mean, back he, then, <laughs> minimum wage was like $8 an hour. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, 725 In 2009, Minimum wage was like seven dollars, my nigga. Yeah. Like, yes, bro. Like, and imagine nigga beat you up and take your. We talking phone. like minimum wage didn't just change a couple months ago. Like, <laughs> nigga, man, nigga beat him up, and I was right there, and I stopped that. I stopped, but yeah, that's good. I dropped. No, I mean, I could. I wasn't going to like intervene. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't gonna let them kill him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, man, just get that shit up, bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? Just let them have it and do what you're going to do. Like, you're going to come back and that's who you. That's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you want to live to fight another day, you might want to get that shit up now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them boys going to beat you to death. Yeah, hurry up. They were beating this shit, bro. They were beating the shit out of him. But some niggas don't play that, bro. I, I, I know a nigga that came back and aired it out, bro, and aired out the basketball court, you know, some shit. Like, niggas is not. Niggas not playing. Niggas is not playing that. You're not I'm one of them niggas that would that would wild out if I got embarrassed. That's why I try to stay out of this. Yeah. Like, if you do something like we fight, I'm gonna call some, I'm gonna cut the call somebody, bro. If, if, like if, if you beat back. me up really bad, <laughs> like if you did too much, yeah. Like everybody's like, it's not even funny no more. Like you did too much. <laughs> you just shit your pants a little bit. Not even <laughs> shit my pants. Like I'm just like everybody nah, talking like, about it. Like, like that. Yo. I have a, a little bit of pee was on the nah, front of your like, pants. No, <laughs> no, nah, fuck all that. I have like a. Concussion, concussion. Like, yeah. I'm, I can't go to sleep for a couple of days. Like, I got to go to the hospital. You need to watch your fucking back. Like, you yeah. need to not go home for a while. For me, it, for <laughs> me, it would be like when I go home and I'm by myself, I just got the shower and I'm laying on my bed. I would think like, damn, bro, you just got bitched, bro. You just got goddamn violated. You got violated. That would, that would just fester up in me. Like, I'd be the bitch if, 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 if it means I keep my freedom yeah. or I don't have to kill you. Because most of the time, I don't do shit because I don't want to kill you. I'm not, when I get in that mode, I'm not worrying about you killing me because it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. I done been in the other side of that gun. I'm going to shoot first. Mm-hmm. And we'll deal with that shit later. You know what I'm saying? But you're not, I'm not letting no one else get the drop on me. That's why I keep myself out of these fucking situations. That's the best you know way, man. <laughs> let's, just, let's, let's end it like that. That's the best way, man. Keep yeah. yourself out these situations unless you really want to go put you on world a style. thousand percent. If man, if I ever get in any situation, a nigga start saying world See, star. Nah, or that or if a man. nigga if a nigga slap you. Oh nah. If, no. a, if a nigga like slap the shit out of you, like open hand. I if a nigga punch me and knock me out, if it, even if it was a fucking a, a sneak <laughs> fight, you know, a sneak, I, you, you might live. If a nigga slapped you out, <laughs> if a nigga like slap, like open hand palm slap me in my face, you not gonna hear that. <laughs> and you like bigger than me, and I know I'm gonna lose the fight. <laughs> You gonna die, like you gonna die, hey. bro. Like you gonna like I'm going to shoot you right then and there. Like you're not, yeah, nah. Man. That's why I be that's like, man. Funny. That's why I, if a nigga, like, I know my fight, I know my limit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga too big, I know he gonna. I'm, I'm on my weight class. You need to be very afraid of me because I'm going. I'm not gonna hesitate. Me, I'm, I'm, I'm a, leave. I'm a. I'm, a, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm like a. I'm like a big small guy. You know what I'm saying? But you for me like you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but if, if, slice if I'm minute. in the club and like I step on somebody's shoes, I'm real nice. But like, bro, I apologize. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. I spill a drink, like, yo, come on, come to the bar, let me get you a drink yeah. because I know, like, bro, I'm too if nice. It's gonna, if it's gonna go all the way. I'm gonna go. All, I'm gonna go all the way with it. Exactly. You feel know I me? Mean? So I rather just be nice in the front end. It's not a big problem. Like if you mess with me and I have to take it there, then you deserved it. Cause I, exactly. I did. I did everything I could <laughs> to avoid the situation. To avoid the situation. I probably, uh, most of the time, I probably have apologized 
50 times unless you're trying to hold me. Like that guy in a Jenny Kiss concert that I, yeah, he, he spilled my drink and he every, brought me another drink? Like, yeah, everybody was, tell, he was like, it was, He was like, yo, look, I'm, it's no issue. I'm going to get you another drink. Yeah. Yeah, but if, and he would try to be tough in there or some shit. Like, it was love. Because niggas like, yeah, like, I knocked your shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was, I was, but I've been in main stage. Man. And I've seen niggas do some wild shit. For sure. And I'd be like, why are you playing with that man like that? Yeah. I've seen some shit happening, not main stage, what was it? Uh, after Seven Lounge, before, when I first came home from prison. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I seen some shit with Kyle. And I was like, oh, time to go. Mm -hmm. That's exactly like, yeah, because this nigga is teed, okay? Yeah. This nigga is not playing with you. This nigga is not playing with the situation. And I'm trying to beat the shooting. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to get shot out here in this bitch, man. Free but like, when it come to these niggas that be trying, you know, some niggas be acting gung ho. Mm -hmm. They want to prove a point, especially when the bitch around. They want to prove a point. Oh, yeah. Yo, oh, man. Like, That'll uh, be the worst type. Yeah, man, nigga, want to take his shit off in the club. I didn't been, I didn't been binked off of first. off of one nigga trying to prove a point around some girl. My like, first time going to the club was with this nigga. <laughs> yeah. The first time going to the club with this nigga, and what's the, what's the first thing that happened, RJ? A nigga ran, a nigga, a nigga tried to walk up on me like he was gonna tell me I don't fuck with your nigga. I'm like, oh, what the fuck you telling me? <laughs> for, nigga? I'm like, the fuck? I had no idea what the fuck so happened. I, I go to stuff like this. <laughs> man, like the fuck you think he gonna tell me? I don't fuck with your nigga, bro. Yeah, and after that, I was what like, what club was that? That was that was have a nice day cafe, bro. Bro, that's my that first time. Ever. <laughs> that was, was that dead. was my first time ever going to a club. Mm -hmm. Like that was my first. This nigga was the first nigga to ever bring me outside to a club, and that and the first thing I was saying, I was like, I got problems out here. I don't want no. I don't want no smoke. I gotta say, I don't want no issues. But that was back when niggas was still going and fighting in mirage. Niggas was definitely like that. niggas was not me. At least. I was fighting in the streets. I wasn't fighting in mirage. Yeah, I never went to the club before. My yeah. first time there, this nigga talking about he want to fight me. He got problems with me. I'm like, God damn, I ain't even been here twenty minutes yet. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, <laughs> dead ass man. I also been in the club with a nigga who got beat up. And nigga was kind of upset because we didn't jump in. I had fucking Louis Vuitton jacket on. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? I had Gucci shoes on. No, I had a, if, if it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, nah, don't expect niggas to like, sometimes oh, niggas to violate, up. but don't expect niggas to jump in because you got whooped. Sometimes you got to take that whooping. It is what it is. I didn't even see the fight day. pop off. I just saw the fight from, from, it was in plush. And I was in the section. He was over there by the bar. And I just seen him getting beat up. And I was like, I tapped my niggas. I was like, hey. You know what I'm saying? When I looked down, I'm like, bro, I got like, Three thousand dollars worth of clothes on, and I'd be damned if a nigga ripped this Louis V shirt. You got me fucked up. But, this shirt was like three hundred and ninety-seven dollars. You got me fucked up. But I've, I've definitely seen a nigga get fight in a club and then get killed after the club, like out here. Definitely. Who? J Mo. I, I was Have a nice day, Cafe. Names. I mean, we could. That's that's that was one. But like we're talking about multiple events, like you know what I'm saying? I see my nigga brother like fighting the club and then get killed like down the street, leaving Mirage, bro. That's like no lie. Yeah, so you gotta stop man. playing with niggas. You gotta stop playing. Niggas not fighting for this is a this is a we have a very high murder rate. My cousin got like, my cousin got hit like that, like are we at like the two hundreds right now? Yeah, we are we are Atlanta wild. is at like one forty, one thirty. You know what I'm saying? If you was to multiply Richmond to the size of Chicago, mm -hmm. our, our murder rate would be higher Prince, than Chicago. Prince for the city. Bro, it's been three murders this week. It's yeah. Wednesday. <laughs> like, uh, and, and, and all of Wednesday. them was under the age of 18. Teenagers. Damn. I'm talking about teenagers have been shot and killed. Yeah. yeah. Boys got shot Come around. Oh, man. Um, this city Crayon, is fucking right? Creighton. This fucking city is crazy, bro. Yeah. 15 year old. And, and we, don't know, we don't know how crazy it is because we actually live here and have been, been around. Like, you really don't know how crazy it is. Like, just how for niggas in Chicago, they yeah. really don't understand, like, Nah, bro, I wouldn't even stop at the gas station, bro. I'm good. I don't even want to go to the gas station in Chicago. I'll wait till we get to yeah, them are different parts, bro. Like, that's how it is here. It's so bad. And it's so bad, like, for the youth as well. Like, my friend, she took her sons to their football game. And two, and some boy, little boys got into it on the same team. They played for the same team. And they got into it. And one little boy pulled out a fucking gun at the football game. Yeah. I'm sorry, but we had to jump that little nigga. Pulled out a fucking gun <laughs> at the football game. <laughs> 13 years old. She said he was 13. And yeah. he got into it with some of his from? teammates. This was some, they, I don't know where they, who they play for. But, uh, but the, 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 yeah, my bad. The sad it's thing the is, area. the sad thing is, like, yeah, I, 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 I bust my first two at like 12, 13. That's what's so crazy. Like, it happened. I just bust young. the gun for the first time on the 4th of July. I ain't bust no gun until I, don't I was like guns. over 18. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I ain't bust no guns until Maybe I was over 18. Maybe she be honest, bro. Like, old. messing around with my older cousins, bro. I yeah, sold like some 12, drugs, 13. I sold drugs. 
and I was having sex. <laughs> and from 11 to 14, I was getting pussy. You know what I'm saying? I was a fucking I don't think I got to put this out when I was on 14. I was a motherfucker. Yeah, man. But what else y'all got, man? Freak Yeah, I mean, shoot. Um, Russell Westbrook.